welcome back you lovely lot and a big warm welcome to anybody new joining my channel today now if you are all about all things nails then please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell for any new uploads that I may do. Now, I do upload every week on a Sunday without fail. But if I do manage to get into my nail room, other than that, I will put up extra videos for you. Now, we're going to do nude nails today. We're going to do gem placements. Now, I've left a couple of the nails in to show my acrylic application, although, quite frankly, it does need a bit of work. I've come back um, off holiday. I haven't picked up an acrylic brush for four weeks. I know, it's shocking. Um, and I need to work on my acrylic uh, pickup because it's so cold. So I need to pick up the beads slightly drier. So I do pick it up, place it slightly away from the cuticle area and place that in and around and bring that down. Fade it into the nail and then pick up another bead. I will blend it back and then pat, pull and press that bead all the way to the nail tip and then come in with a small bit on this nail and then just blend that back and make sure all the time that my shape is there i will then um file and buff them off camera guys and then we're going to go into some gem placement so i am using kiara base for my nail glue i absolutely love it and i wouldn't be without it but as always, everything that I use today, including the hands, the nail tips, everything is in the description box below. But if you do have any questions, guys, just leave me a comment. Now, what I like to do is place down my biggest gem first down on the nail. So this is a little finger. And although they're extra long and it can absolutely take a big piece of gem jewellery, um, I wanted to do like the biggest gem and then come down descending in size so the chunk of it will be in the middle there and then I will taper it out going I always do one side then the other so I will go from the middle and I will go round to the right and then round to the left and then make sure look at it do I like that does that look nice I really like that so I'm then going in on the next nail again going in with the largest gem first then I'm going to come in with a smaller size and I'm going to do four, one on each point. So one at 12 o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock and three o'clock. OK, if I feel like I need to go in there with a little more of the um, dip base, the glue, the nail glue uh, to stick down my gems, I will do. But I am working quite quickly because I've got them set out in the tray. So that's something else that I like to do. I like to set them out in the tray. Have an idea of what you're doing first. Set it out on the tray. And then all you need to do is pick it up and plonk it on the nail. So I will go up and down the nail in descending order of size. And I've got an assortment of copper, rose gold. And like it's a clear but it does shine rose gold so i want i incorporated them all in all these nails so these are the clear ones that actually do have a copper rose gold sheen to them when it hits so they're like a leaf shape like an oval shape so i pop three of them down and i pop down the um the nail glue as i want it so i'm going to put three at the top and one descending down from the bottom then I use the other end of my picker upper tool and just adjust it. And then I start to go in with the smaller gems. Uh, take some down. I will fill in the sides there with smaller ones. And then to finish it off, I'm going to put one at the tip of each of those original three that we laid down first. You do have to work quite quickly with the Chiara dip base because it once it dries they are not moving and it does dry down pretty quick now what i'm going to do on the pointer finger is i'm going to match the little finger so again i go in with the largest and then i work in descending size order and i'll take it up from the center and i will go on each side and then i'll go from the center and i'll go round to the right and then round to the left so what you'll see me do on this one this is where i said does it look nice is it 
aesthetically pleasing to the eye is I lay down again I'm going from um, largest to smallest as I go towards the end and I'm looking at it there and it, the little finger looks so much more chunkier can you see so I do go in with another row so that's what you'll see me doing and I'm just nudging it how far down do I want to go I don't want to go stupid I need it to match that little finger that's what I'm looking at I'm looking at all of them do do they look similar? No, they don't. That pointer to me doesn't look as thick as the little finger. So like I said, I do go in with another row. Then guys, to finish it off, I take the hand off the stand. And what I do is I do the top near the cuticle area with the top coat. Pop that in the lamp just for a flash cure, just 10 seconds. I don't want it running into those gems you never ever if you put down crystals or gems if you put top coat over the facet it will lose its shine so then what i do is i come in with top coat and i'll put my brush right up to them gems and we'll do each of the nails but don't forget the ring finger and the uh, middle finger have been done at the cuticle area already as well, if this was on a client, I do have a special striper brush. It's one that I don't use for nail art and I do use for top coat, which you've seen me use before on my channel. And I will go up and around those gems. Not only it does this ensure that the top coat doesn't go over the gem, but it also makes sure that it seals that in. Now, go. Now guys, we are at the end of our nail play today. I really do hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, would you take a moment and hit that thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe. And as always, there's a clip at the end for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.